And the next is the high beam. Oh my god, look at this. So powerful it is. Ignition button and here I go. This is the power of the light. This is the blinker. First you need to press this. Place your phone here. Okay. This is how it becomes sturdy. That's my friend Rajshekar. Coming on my bike. Good afternoon people, this is Jagdish and I welcome you to Mr. Arya Singh's. Uh, the time is 1 o'clock uh, and uh, yes, I am with another video. This is for the first time that I am uh, doing an unboxing in my video. So those who like unboxing, yes, it is related to my bike. So if you are interested in unboxing or in unboxing videos, so uh, please stay tuned and yes, let's begin. Okay. Uh, I think uh, most of you would be uh, going for road trips etc. So the most important thing there is uh, your vision at night. So um, I'm not promoting anything but then yes uh, I felt uh, a necessity of having an LED fog lamps or focus light uh, to my bike. So um, for those who know, uh, those who don't know I have a Honda, uh, uh, Honda Shine 125cc. 2015 model so I plan to you know uh, purchase these lights which I uh, went uh, ahead and uh, you know I went to the shop and purchased them it says uh, uh, U7 I don't I doubt you can see that it says U7 uh, and on the top it says LED motorcycle LED lights so uh, this is the one which I purchased last week when I had uh, um, been to uh, and been to the market and I purchased this so this is uh, these are two uh, lights one set I'll show you what is there in that and the next thing which I purchased is uh, these this is a um, uh, motorcycle USB charger and uh, the holder so it comes very handy when you use GPS I'm very sure that people who uh, go for rides uh, it is a very handy thing so that is it and uh, for this I will purchase the switch also which I'll be showing. So that is it. So let's begin the unboxing. So okay, uh, so this is the light and uh, I'll open. So okay, since a week I've kept at home, I didn't find time. Okay, so what we get, we get this. Uh, this are the uh, LED, uh, which also has an angel eye in between and you have uh, this ring, which also glows up. I will show you when it is put onto my bike. So this is the extra, so this is the clamp which they have given, okay. So this is the clamp which they have given, this is the fog light. And inside the box we get one allen key. So we get one allen key because if you can see this, so you can, you know, adjust accordingly. So that is the allen key, okay. And uh, one clamp. Okay, so one clamp with that, one clamp, so that it will go to your, uh, you know, uh, engine uh, crash protectors one and it will be like this. So this is the clamp and we have two screws. So that is it in the box. Okay, so we will keep this aside. Same thing which it comes. Alright, so we will keep this aside. Same thing. Same thing. So keep this aside and for to connecting that, we have an on on switch okay so this is the on off switch which I purchased okay um, the next thing is the motorcycle USB charger and holder so this really is of really good quality which I should say it is very heavy and I hope uh, the quality of it is would be very good and it will last for long okay so here it comes all right so this is the wire i think it is around one meter so that should be sufficient i guess and okay so this is the one i'll install this and i'll show you okay so that is it okay talking about the price point uh, okay the price point is this is actually online 900 rupees okay it is multifunctional mobile phone charger the uh, bracket so this is for 900 rupees I got it like for 700 rupees and uh, these lights he told me uh, 1900 just the lights 
but I purchased it for very low. I'll tell you the rate in the end. And this switch, he told me 200 rupees. So I bargained. I'll let you know the details from where I bought also. But now, for now, I'm very excited. Go to the shop uh, in the mechanic shop and install it soon as possible. So meet you out, uh, meet you all people once I install and I'll give you the reviews very soon. Till then, bye bye. So yes, people. So yes, people. I've installed the fog lamps U7. You can see this. I've installed the U7 uh, fog lamps, and I've also installed the um, USB charger and holder. And uh, I'll give you the light test with it. So uh, as you know that the sun is uh, about to set, and uh, we can check our lights in a better in a better exposure. So uh, let's begin then. Okay, so I am just showing you as to how this looks, how it looks um, when I'm when we are facing the camera is facing to the light. How powerful I show you. So I've turned on the ignition button and here I go. This is the power of the light. And, uh, this is the uh, this is the blinker. This is the high beam. This is the high beam. This is a low beam, blinker mode. What difference it makes? This is the high beam. Oh my god. Turn off. This is the blinker mode. My god. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. How powerful the light is. Okay, now this is with the normal halogen light. Um, it is not the high beam, the normal, normal uh, thing. Since it is very dark, um, you will find it to be very powerful. And if I want the high beam or the halogen, you will find this is this light can do. I was actually adjusting with this light. It is good, it is a decent light, I did not complain. But then uh, in the highway, with this light, it is very difficult, you know, to drive. So what I did is, oh, this is my, oh my god, this is such a powerful light. Powerful LED light. This is the high beam of the LED. And just imagine if I'm turning on my halogen with it. Okay, my halogen light. I turn on my halogen light. Oh, this seems to be super, isn't it? So I turn off the LED. And only with the halogen light, this is what we get. Multipurpose USB charger is installed on my bike and uh, okay, so it is very sturdy. And the thing is, there is one uh, plug, uh, uh, there is one uh, knob here. If you turn it clockwise, it will lock, and if you turn it anti clockwise, this becomes you can, you know, accordingly. If you want to wish, if you wish to uh, tighten like this, hold your put your uh, mobile there and just. Tighten, it will get tighter. This is a sturdy one. You can place your mobile phone. I'll just show you the charging details. I'll be letting you know later. I'll just let you know. First, you need to press this. Place your phone here. Okay. This is how it becomes sturdy. And uh, okay. Once I turn it on, you would find a LED light glowing there. I hope you can see that. Just show you. Okay. I'll turn off the ignition. I'll just turn on the ignition again. You can see that? Uh, yellow light, uh, sorry, uh, blue light popping in there. So that it shows that it can charge. You can put the plug in the mobile or the USB cable here and it will get charged. Start getting charged. I missed the cable. Turn the knob. You can just adjust. It is adjustable. You can do front and back also. There's a knob behind. If you anti clockwise, you can do it like this. If you feel that you this is fine, then keep it like this. Tighten it. So your phone is ready to go. See that? So that is it about the charger. That's my friend, Rajshekhar.